Chairman, my name is Cole Norgarden. I am in 10th grade at the Blake School in Minneapolis, and I am also co-chair of Yeah Minnesota, um, which is a coalition of uh, youth environmental activists from around the state. And um, today, as a young person, I am in opposition of Senate File 86, which would lift a ban on carbon dioxide emissions produced by utilities. Lifting this ban is undoing the progress we have made towards achieving energy sustainability in Minnesota. This is not a mistake we can afford to make with the futures of youth like myself at stake. We refuse to inherit the costs coal imposes on Minnesota's communities, both environmental and economic, costs we will have to deal with if carbon dioxide emissions go unchecked. Furthermore, since there is no current need for building new coal-fired facilities in Minnesota, this repeal is completely <coughs> backwards and unnecessary. On a personal level, my grandfather was employed by Northern States Power for over 30 years and worked as an engineer on all three units of the Sherco plant in Becker, Minnesota. After retiring, my grandfather recognized the importance of establishing renewable energy infrastructure and ending our, our, our reliance on fossil fuels. He told me that while plants like Sherco were necessary to meet demand at the time they were built, burning coal was not the future of energy in Minnesota. Hearing this from the man who was construction superintendent to the largest coal burning plant in Minnesota only demonstrates how urgent and universal the need is for a transformation in the way we produce electricity. This problem is not going away, and so we cannot let the advances we have made go to waste. Please invest in the future of your children, of your community, and of the state of Minnesota by opposing this repeal. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I just wanted to welcome the young man from Blake, which is in my district. Glad to have you here. And, and um, uh, also, uh, Syria, the young people in particular, I really appreciate your willingness to step forward and participate in this process. I know Senator Rosen does as well, even if you might not agree with her position. It's uh, great. Uh, I can't imagine being able to come forward and have as much poise as you did in 10th grade, so I'm very yeah, impressed. Thank you. I was thinking the same thing. Well, thank you for grade. being here. Like well, thank you, Senator Dibble, and, and as well, I, uh, I, I just welcome you, uh, all the students that have come here, and, and just to hear how engaged you guys are, to think that our next generation will be that engaged is very encouraging, so happy to have you here. Thank, thank you. you.